Okay, so this will be a DVD bonus video. I'll throw this on the DVD. DVD bonus. So what I'm going to talk about is how to see past time, the multiverse, and I'm going to show concrete examples that you can see. And if you're saved, you should be able to hear me. You should be able to hear me. And if not, cut off the noise, cut off the music, then you'll be able to hear it. But you got to think different than you usually think. So here we go. First one is time. So if you read the proverb like... Uh, do unto others, or you reap what you sow. Um, if you read the book of Proverbs, there's a lot of them that Solomon wrote that apply today. Most, all of them, really. Uh, in order to have friends, you got to be friendly. Um, stuff like that. So, when you think about a proverb, it applies today, tomorrow, and yesterday, right? So a proverb surpasses time because it, ma it doesn't matter if it was 100 years ago or 20 years ago or 100 years from now. And let me use that word time and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna inter to interchange the word time for cycle. I'm going to use cycle. So 20, 20 cycles ago, years. 20 cycles ago, minutes. 20 cycles ago, hours. However many cycles is what I'm... doesn't matter. So I'm getting ready to tell you how to see some deep stuff. And if you really listen, it's really going to... It's really going to blow your mind. It's been here. It's been here your whole life. So the reason you know time doesn't exist is because of Proverbs. If a proverb is true right now, right now, right now, right now, then that means it, sur it supersedes time. And the Bible says you're seated in the heavenlies in Christ. You're outside of time in your mind, in your heart, in your spirit. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. So your spirit and your mind are outside of time. Your heart's outside of time. That's why you see a kid with a good heart and you see a kid with a bad heart. 20 years later, the kid with a good heart still, now it's, there's times the, the system might try to tear them down and mess their heart up for, you know, a, a, a narcissist. Their whole purpose is to tear down a heart, you know? And the whole system's trying to tear down your mind. But for the most part, if somebody has a good heart as a child, you see them older, they still have a good heart. They, there are exceptions. And somebody who has a bad heart, they usually have a bad heart, but they can get saved, get born again. But it's a, it supersedes time. And the cycles of time are actually designed to move you from the old Adam to the new. And so a narcissist can be saved. A narcissist can get better. But they're going to have to have face-to-face -face interaction and introspection. So that brings me to my next point. Each person is a multiverse. The multiverse is not out there. It's right here. And so each person is facing off with each other. So imagine this this was a, a TV screen right here and this my phone was facing it. As I turn my phone away from that TV screen it has no no interaction, no no memory. But when my phone faces that TV screen, there's a, there's an interface. There's face to face interaction. So the reason you need face to face interaction and cutting and turning in the system is because it's a re it's recording what happens. So that person, if you are interacting with this person, that person might say, "Well, remember what you said last week?" And you say, "Wait, I don't really remember." 
you said this and you say oh I remember so that face-to-face -face interaction is actually a recording system because I know when I was uh, just selling books I didn't even know about smartphones I didn't know about really anything I had to have the face-to-face -face interaction when I went back to a job people at work uh, they saw my phone and they laughed at me and said, why are you using that old raggedy phone when you could use a smartphone? I said, what's a smartphone? And they showed me, but I still, it took a year till I kind of got to talk to those people more. It took about a year and somebody, they said, you could have made a lot more money with your, uh, with your books if you'd had your smartphone. And that's true. So the face-to-face -face interaction pushes you. So you're, it's a multiverse and you're living your world you're living your world and so that interchange that interaction that interface forces you to grow but it also records time so what is time time is just a recording device cycles your memory remember remember it's all about remembering back into Christ. You're remembering who you are. So through the cycles of time, you start to remember, hey, I'm seated in the heavenlies. This is a machine. This is the AI flesh mind machine. And the machine is just recording. God is, God is going to judge you at the Bema seat if you're saved, at the great white throne judgment if you're not saved and there's a recording the books are written this is a book if you're judged by a book that means you're in a book so back to what I was saying each person is a multiverse inter interfacing with each other face to face and so face to face is ace to ace because this reality is about the human and so time records when you're interacting face to face without an interaction there's no reference point there's no recording there's no ability to remember if I didn't have an interaction with this car or with this truck or this intersection with this phone call, with this email, with this text, with this job or with this eating or with this health situation or whatever I'm interacting with, that records a time. Now you can delete the memory by changing as you as you get in the word more and more, your identity is being changed. The word is hitting the womb of your heart. It's 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 hitting you. God's Word. These objects are derivative from the Word. Every object is hitting you. is to force a birthing in you. And so when the, when the man and the woman, uh, in the vulgar terms, he's, he hits it, right, to make a baby. So God is hitting you. Hit, it, he. The word hit goes back to it, and it goes back to it, him, and he. And so God is hitting you in the womb of your heart to force a birthing. So this cycle, this cycle of time is a recording, but it's also a cycle. And another way that you can know that you're outside of time, if you can see it, if you can hear what I'm saying, there's people in your life that every day they call, they talk about the same stuff. Uh, my back hurts. I'm tired. Is, and they're always complaining. Or they're, they, 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 you say, well, wait a minute. You just told that story yesterday. Do you remember? Oh, really? They're stuck in the time loop. They don't know it. They can't get out of it. And they love it, really. They love time. They love the cycles. They love the repeat. They love it. Because something hasn't jolted them out of this reality where they hate it down here you're gonna to have to hate this place to really escape it this place is a ai the reason it's a ai and you know it is is because man makes god made man in his image and man fell and when man fell what did he fall into he fell into an ai program and so the devil and his demons and the demons on the computer, the demons, the devil, the demons, they go about their cycle. The demons are going about their cycle. See, God asked the devil, he says, what have you been doing? I've been going to and fro in the earth. What does that mean? He's in a cycle. He's stuck in the cycle. The narcissist is stuck in a cycle. The player is stuck in the cycle. The cheater, the con artist, the, the thief. Because there's a Proverbs that says, Do unto others as you'd have do unto you. And so as as they do unto others, the Bible says you reap what you sow. So they keep doing evil and they keep getting evil back. 
and they're stuck in that cycle because they think they're getting ahead, but they're actually, what they're facing, what they're interacting with, they're face to face right there. And they're, they're experiencing what, you, what you're doing face to face, like this guy over here, he's a ship. So if I was to talk to him, it's a face to face interaction. Just like if this phone was to talk, to, to look at that, that screen, it's face to face. But when I turn the phone away, there's no interaction. My point is, each person is a multiverse because they're per suns, per the sun. And so each person is a multiverse, a multifaceted system, but they're all pieces of the whole and they're being cut back into the whole. And so the whole is the holographic truth, whole, holy, hollow, complete, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. So the whole is Jesus. And so you're, you're experiencing down here EXP, P R I perimeter. So you're you're able to go around this perimeter, but this perimeter that you're in, this cycle, this this DVD disc type return is just returning. It's designed to push you higher to see outside of the AI flesh mind because these AI flesh creatures are the base nature creatures. And they just keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over. And they don't learn from their mistakes. They'll come up and say, can I borrow a quarter? Can I borrow a dollar? I got to buy me a cigarette. Can I borrow? Can I, can I catch a ride? You got a couple dollars? I want a cigarette. You got a couple dollars? I need me a Budweiser. They keep going around every Friday. They go to the bars and you... You can drive with Uber. You can already know what you already know who's going to be busy and who's not. The bar hoppers are going to be busy doing their thing, and you can make some money because you already know the cycle. This is how you can get rich if you wanted to. If you wanted to sell cigarette, if you wanted to open a store right over there, sell cigarettes and beer and magazines and something that's really just temporary. And they have to keep, they get addicted to it. And that's how you would get rich. But if you want to be evil, yeah, you support people's addiction. But if you want to be good, you're not going to support that. You're going to go over there and hand out tracts for the ones that are addicts because they don't have their identity. A-D-D-I. Turn the D-I to I-D and you have your identity. The reason they're addicted is because they have no identity. They're divided. D-I means divide. So they have no identity. Their identities in the in the in the AI program, and their identity is not in Christ. So let me recap. And notice I word said the word recap. Cap goes back to captain, right? Cycles are a recording device. Man's image is AI. That's why man is making AI programs. Time is proverb is is proved in proverbs because any proverb is true today was true a thousand years ago would be true a thousand years from now a thousand cycles the multiverse you can prove it by health if you tell somebody you need to sleep eight hours to feel better you need to drink some water you need to cut back sugar that's a fractal in each human so each human the same truth applies about sleeping, about eating, about uh, et cetera, et cetera. That's the multiverse. And so the multiverse is in each human. And each pu human is face to face. So you're interacting with your eyes, with touch, with your ears, with um, your smell. All your five senses are, are interacting. That's the, that's the uh, interface with another human. Or that's the interface with an object that a human made. Or that's an interface with the earth or trees, something God made. My point is, that face-to-face -face interaction proves that it's a multiverse because, because of health. The same health choices, if you sleep good, if you rest, no stress, cut out stress, what will happen is, 
this applies to each person. Each person is the multiverse. And when you're face-to-face -face interaction with a person, they either rise up or you either rise up to the next level or you stay and repeat that cycle until you move to the next level. So it's all about becoming aware. It's all about waking up. It's all about spiritual. It's all about seeing outside of time. It's all about being aware that you're inside a program and you used to be an AI flush mind program in the old Adam, but you got born again and now you're a spiritual creature hid in Christ. So you're outside of time, you're outside of the program and you can actually see somebody who's in the program of the cycle repeat they're still stuck in time every day is the same every day is a cycle and they oh my back hurts oh i'm tired oh i'm i'm poor i'm broke please i i need a i need a smoke i need a i need a drink i can't i need a volume i need a xanax they're stuck in time because they don't have an identity wake up neo wake up neo and be the one the eons of cycles of time are trying to take Neo and make him the one or her the one. You can escape it, but you love it too much down here. That's why you stay in it. The reason you stay in this ridiculous insanity is because you love it. The flesh creature loves the flesh mind and the spirit creature loves the spirit mind and the two can never mix. You can marry one of them, but it's going to be cats and dogs fighting because they can't see it. They can't see it. They can't see it.